go get, you can go get it before I do that. Hello, everyone. It's Lisa from Crafting and Cruising. Hello, hello. Here's my handsome hubby, Rodney. Hello. Also with Crafting and Cruising. Y'all have got my happy camper hat on that Victoria made me. I love it. Love it. Love it. And I'm sure if you've looked on my page in the past 24 hours, you have seen some videos and photos that we have posted of our little critters that are all around here and they are so cute we have deer we have i guess they're geese they're real pretty and we have so many squirrels they are precious precious i tell you so I'm gonna get over here and try to share this out real quick to a couple of groups while everybody's getting on. When you get on, please say hi and let us know you're here. And um, if you're watching the replay, let me know where you're watching from on the replay. I know this is, I just typed, watch us. Please join us for a fun replay. <laughs> uh, whoops. Okay. Got it posted there. So I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. It is pretty here. It is hot here. Rodney had to come and get a fan. We had a little fan inside and I said, you're going to have to hook that fan up because I can't, I can't take the heat. So I think it's supposed to rain a little bit tonight and tomorrow. But um, anyway, I want to do the giveaway on Telegram first, but I really don't want to do that until we have some more folks on. Um, we're going to dinner tonight with the group and that's why um, I had to come on early. So I'm hoping a few people will get on. Um, there's somebody, Rodney Siler. Okay, so we have one on Rodney Siler. And I guess I could turn the camera around for a minute and let you see where we are. Tilt it back a little bit. We're right, the water is right across from us. You can see the lake through there. Trying to reconnect. There we are. Okay, so you can, let me flip it back around now. Okay. So... I hope we'll have some folks coming on for the giveaway. I'm excited to be giving away an original watercolor today that I've done. And um, if you are a member of my Telegram, which I think I have close to 70 finally, um, then you were entered into a drawing. Somebody else is watching, I see them. So, if we don't get to do that right now until more people get on, then we'll wait. Carol Stinson. Um, hey, Carol Stinson, D did the weather clear up for you? I hope. Don't don't risk it, sister, to be on here if the weather's really bad. I don't want you to risk it. So what we're doing today? I'm sure if you've been in Goodwills, you've seen old wooden salt and pepper shakers. I have a lot of them. They're harder to find now than they used to be. And some of them, I have one in there that the wood is so pretty on, I almost hate to paint it. I, I still might, but I kind of decided to hold off. And you all know, I don't know why my screen got dark. You all know it's that so I, um, I love <clears throat> to, I hope I didn't turn nice. you backwards. Okay. Um, I love to do uh, watercolor. So good, I'm glad it's not bad, Carol. Um, watercolor, most people think of watercolor as being done on watercolor paper. Like, I'm not gonna show you this yet, but like this. This is 140 pound cold press watercolor paper. Somebody else just got on. But I practiced not long ago, and some of y'all may have seen it, with um, a little vase that I got at Goodwill that was just kind of, um, it was porous, so it didn't do quite as well as I wanted it to. I guess it was kind of some kind of a pottery or whatever, but it didn't do bad. I just kind of wanted to, to experience 
said, hey, Maria, my sweet sister, thank you. Um, I wanted to see what you could do with it. So, hey, Kathy, how are you, sister? So, what we're going to do, I'm just going to show you a sample that we worked on last night to see what we could do. The one we're going to do today is going to look different. And I've already started prepping it. I'm going to show you how I prepped it, but I'm not going to prep the whole second one. So, this was one that we had that we used watercolor on and we used transfers on after the watercolor dried. So we were practicing with this. Down at the bottom it says be happy. That was transferred on. Just a regular transfer. So here's what we did and here's what we're gonna do. Captain I have Bill Hazen's own. Bill Hazen. Bill okay. Hazen. So she's the one that won your birdhouse. Oh hey Kathy. Um here is another one that I have done and if you will look closely you can see where I have put, after I painted, first I put two coats of chalk paint on it, and then I laid tissue paper pieces down with Deb's Design Diary DIY Liquid Patina. Tissue paper like this. I took a piece of tissue paper and wadded it up, a whole big piece, wadded it up and tore it into smaller pieces. And I wanted my surface to have some texture and not be totally smooth, but I didn't want it to be so rough that I couldn't stencil, I mean, I couldn't put transfers on it. So I'm gonna show you a little bit about how I did this process, but I'm not gonna do this entire one. Then we're gonna come back and we're gonna work on this one again. And we're gonna put the watercolor on it, dry it, stencil it, and, and see how it does. Hey, Cheryl Parrish. Okay, so here are pieces that I've already torn of literally picking up a smooth piece of tissue paper, taking one off the top and squishing it. And then I opened it out and I tore the edges because I don't want any straight edges anywhere, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is go on and take some of this white chalk paint. And y'all, I just got this Waverly chalk paint in Snow White Rodney commented on it last night too. It's really smooth and I like it. It's thick, but sometimes chalk paints get so thick that it's kind of hard to, I think it's kind of hard to use them and I have to water them down. This is real creamy. Yeah, this is creamy. <clears throat> so, oops, I'm about to touch that same one. All right, so I'm gonna put a coat or two around here. Now this um, little grinder piece will probably have to be removed and cleaned up a little bit. And then the top of this, uh, once I get it all painted and decoupage, we'll probably have to kind of work on that to loosen it a little bit. Donna Walker, hi, Donna. Not so bad, Donna. Um, hi, Paul. my sweet friend, Barbara. I hope you're doing good, sister. Paula Takagi from Tucson Zone. Hey, Paula. I saw that she just joined the Telegram channel so she could be entered in the drawing. So when a few more people get on, then we'll stop what we're doing and do the drawing for the original watercolor. Now, here's the, here's the deal. You have to be a member of my Telegram channel already to be entered into the drawing. I have found a thing online that's like a spinning wheel where you can enter names. So everybody that was on my Telegram right when I got online, or just before I got on, has been entered, has, their name is in there. And then this wheel will spin and it will choose a winner. I have, hey, Lori Henderson, I have four watercolors here. All of them are original. One of them has a little mixed media with it as well. Whoever wins gets to choose which one they want. One of them is already framed. I can either leave it in the frame or, and, and ship it to you, if you win, or I can take it out of the frame and just send the watercolor, and then you can go and find a frame that might match wherever you're gonna hang it better. That's just that one. The rest of them are not framed. Um, and, and I think that's better because everybody's colors in their homes are different, and so you want different colors, maybe on your mat or your frame to hang up. So I'm just giving this a quick dry 
I'm gonna put one more coat on it. I joined in time. You did. Oh, you're, you didn't leave him out, Barbara. You don't worry about that at all, sweet sister. He doesn't feel that way. Rodney is not, not that kind of person. He's not going to worry if somebody specifically said hi to him or not. He knows that this is our page together, so when somebody says hi to me, they're saying hi to him. So, with this weather being what it is and this fan on me, y'all, it's peaceful, it's quiet. We've never been to this campground before, and they actually just opened this little section that we're in. So it's got a lot of um, fresh grass and, um, I guess, hay or something down straw. on top of straw to protect it. So the squirrels have absolutely loved it. Yesterday, Rodney and I had peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and chips outside, just enjoying the weather and the peace and quiet. And we started um, throwing pieces of our bread over in the grass. And this one little squirrel kept coming up. And um, hi, Sister Rodney Maria said, um, kept coming up and getting them. And we are in Gallatin, Tennessee, Barbara, at a campground called Bledsoe Creek State Park. And um, we're with the camping group that we camp with during camping season once a month. So, um... Louise Earhart says hello, Lisa. Hey, Louise, how are you, my sister? So, um, anyway, but they have just opened this section and planted grass. There's so many trees. There's a walking trail down by the water in front of us. Um, but apparently they have several more trails, too. I think there's a lot of history around here. This is kind of, this is north of Nashville. So from our home, it took a little over an hour to drive here. Um, so I think some of the women in the group are gonna either go shopping in um, Gallatin tomorrow, and then we're gonna do a craft together that I'm leading. I'll show you what we're gonna do on Saturday, or we'll do it reverse. But this is what everybody's gonna make for the craft. So sometimes when we come on the trip, um, whoever is the host will like to do a craft and I'll do that. Doing well sounds wonderful. It's so, so pretty. Rodney's been working. Um, he's got several business trips coming up. Um, and I think one of them is to Oklahoma City and I'm gonna try to go with him. Hey, Tessie and see, uh, maybe I need to invest in an RV. Yes, you do, Maria. It is so, it's, when it's at home, y'all know I crafted it at home, but when it's at home, um, I mean, I feel like it's my home. I love it. Okay, let's take the Debs Diaz, Diaz, DIY. D, Debs, words are hard. Debs DIY Design no, it's Deb's Design Diary DIY Liquid Patina. This is a great top coat. It's my decoupage medium of choice because it's thin, and I love that. Let's get these pieces on so I can show you how I did this part, and then right before we start the watercolor on the other, we'll do the drawing, okay? All right, so what I did, I did not want the... Um, glue source to be very thick on here. So <clears throat> I put just a light coat and I would grab a piece of the wrinkled up tissue paper. Hey Shirley Davis, my sweet touchstone crystal seller. All right, I took a piece like this. I'm gonna lay it right on there where I put that glue of sorts, and then I'm taking my brush. Now look, it's not even. That's fine. I'm taking my brush. I have not dipped back in my DIY yet. Once I get this down, you can see there's a few little wrinkles in there. It's hard to see, I know, with the lighting. But see this little piece right here that's hanging off? Can you see this part sticking up right here? Okay. I'm just going to take my brush and I'm going to stick it down to the next area. And then I rub my brush around all these creases because I want this to look very finished. 
Tess okay. is asking if all of our camping club members are in motorhomes. No, no. Some are in motorhomes. Some are in fifth wheel trailers. Some are in regular travel trailers. Mm -hmm. None of them are um, tent dwellers. <laughs> But most, a lot of them have motor homes. There's a couple of them that have Class C's um, and um, then, uh, I don't, do we have anybody with travel trailers? Okay, can you all see that? Let's see how this is sticking up, so I'll just brush it down. Tammy Craig, welcome if you're a newbie from California. Yes, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Look at this bug she on my hand. She says crafting and camping is her dream. Oh, girl, it's wonderful. You need to try it. Come out here to Tennessee and camp with us and craft, and you can get a feel for it. Okay, y'all, so that's all I'm going to do on that because I, you get the gist of what I'm doing, okay? I'm going to cover the entire thing with tissue paper that has been wadded up and then flattened out a little bit. Now, if you want more texture to yours, maybe you're not going to um, decoupage on it. Maybe you're not going to put a transfer on it. Maybe you're just going to use this. Then you can just put the tissue paper on it. You can use acrylic paint. You don't have to use watercolor. But see, you can see on this one we did last night, see all the different textures? even without the, the transfer right here. And that's where the pieces overlapped. Okay? All right, so now that I've got that done, I'm gonna tell you all the colors I'm using. You won't be able to read them even though I turned my camera around. I'm gonna be using Windsor Newton Windsor Lemon watercolor. I'm gonna be using Windsor, no, this is a Daniel Smith Cobalt Blue. There's hearts just flying everywhere. Good. Thank you so much. And I'm going to be using a Daniel Smith Alizarin, Alizarin Crimson. The only reason I tell you what the names are is because for me, painting in watercolor, I know that it's advisable for the best effect to use professional watercolors and not student grade. Windsor & Newton has a line called Cotman and they're a lesser grade. They're more of a student grade. Daniel Smith is a good line and I use some of them. So before we do that, I said we were gonna do the drawing. So let me show you how we're gonna do the drawing. I have pulled up the, the wheel right here. Everybody's name that's in my telegram you're welcome, Tammy. I hope you'll come back and hit the follow button and join my, my telegram. I'll do another gi a giveaway. So, um, I know, Barbara. So, what I'm going to do is hit right in that white circle, and it's going to go round and round and round, and it's going to pick who the winner's going to be, and then I'm going to let you see which one are the paintings that they get to choose from, okay? Hi. So, let me hit... The spin button, and we'll turn the, there's a delay, I forgot. Okay, so I'm going to click it to spin, maybe. You don't, you can, <laughs> you can hit the wheel or the. Click button. to spin. My um, internet may not be great. Okay. It's spinning, it's spinning. spinning up the storm. Who's it gonna land on? It'll say. Okay, it's something. Veronica Lethmiller. Woo, 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 woo. Congratulations, Veronica. You won. I'm so happy for you. Ronnie, can you take a screenshot so we won't forget? I guess I can. She is a new follower. Tammy, at the top of my page, there is a telegram pinned, a little link with a blue arrow. You can go on that and find Crafting and Cruising and hit join my channel. Today, I even put like an actual link up there. Uh, I also pinned it. So I think you can click on that link. Telegram is a free app. And um, it just makes it so much easier on crafters and people who have pages when um, they can 
you know, communicate that way and let you know when I'm going live. Okay, so here's the choices. This is one. This is a scene. Um, laundry hanging out a window in a Greek, some Greek home. So this is one. There you go. This is the one that's framed. And it's going to have some glare on it because it has glass. It's called feeding time, but it can be taken out of the frame. If you'll tip it back toward you. Yeah, let me tip little... it back. Is that, is that better? better? This is paint, watercolor painted on what's called masa paper. Kind of like the tissue paper we're using. It's wadded. This is the one that's the mixed media. I'm having a hard time seeing what y'all are seeing. Okay, that's the mixed media. So it does have watercolor, but it also has oriental papers. Right, love that one. And then this is the last one. This is actually done on 300 pound watercolor paper. It's heavier. You can see where I started sketching it on the back, but I didn't like the underpainting, so I did it on the front. So Veronica, if you're on here, you get to choose which one of those that you would like. And then if you will send me, hey Deb, if you will send me your email address and your mailing address in a PM, or you can email it to craftandcruise at gmail.com and spell out the word and, I will get that in the mail to you. If you decide you want the fish on masa paper that's in the frame, just let me know if you want the frame or you want me to take it out of the frame. I'll be happy to do that. All right, so I'm gonna take off the top to my Palette. Debbie up, leave that on. <laughs> all right, you see I have a bunch of little containers around here. I love these. These all used to have, I think I told y'all before, um, what's that stuff called? The stick it? Velcro. Velcro on the bottom, and then I'd put a piece of Velcro in here, and then I could Velcro this down. So when I was going to and from class, my paints wouldn't spill anywhere, okay? So I have the yellow I told you about that I'm gonna use, the red I told you about I'm gonna use, and the blue I told you that I'm gonna use. Now what I'm going to do is spray these. I'm gonna tilt you down. Thank you, Cheryl. Oh, Ronnie, I'm not tilting it right. Okay, that's perfect, right there. Okay. All right, I'm gonna take my spray bottle and I want these to be pretty juicy. Well, I don't know why I did that one. Um, I want them to be pretty juicy because we're going to actually end up spraying the pepper shaker too before we put paint down because we want the paints to run, baby, run. Hey, Susie Craig, as my watercolor teacher used to say, which reminds me, if you all haven't seen the video of the interview I did earlier in the week with my watercolor teacher, Gail McDaniel. Please go watch it. It's on my page. I think I actually pinned it to the top so people could see it. Hey, Kenny Ray. Hey, brother, how are you? Brother and sister Dina, good to see you. Thanks for coming on. We just did a giveaway of a watercolor. You can go back and watch the replay and see some of my original watercolors and the person that won gets to choose. Um, so what was I saying before I saw Kenny? Uh, you spraying the... Uh, oh yeah, I'm going to spray, spray the bottle because, oh, the, watching, watching Gail. Oh yeah. So Museum Putty works too. Oh, really? Um, so Gail, I interviewed her and she told us a whole lot about just watercolor in general, but told us about her life. She's just gotten through um, cancer and treatment for cancer. And not long after that, her husband found out he had cancer and two months later he passed away. Hey, Darlene. So um, it's been hard for her, but she, and she has macular degeneration. So one of her eyes since chemo, she's almost totally blind in, but she still keeps going on and going on and going on. So, okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take this pepper spray, pepper spray, pepper grinder. Now this is a salt one and I've already base coated it with white chalk paint, two coats. Then I took tissue paper, wadded up in little pieces, 
glued it down here, made sure that I took my brush and just stippled it real good because I want it pretty smooth, okay? Now, this is tilting, so let me put this over here and I'm gonna hold you... my bottle. It's fine. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna spray this so that it's damp because I want the colors to run, okay? I'm gonna get my brush wet and I'm gonna dip it in the yellow. It's just gonna be what's called wet on and wet. And here's what I'm gonna do. Yes, it's wet on wet. I'm just gonna push my brush down in different places. Do it where we can see it. And I'm gonna let that paint run. I think you can see it. It's on there. On my screen, I can see it. Yeah, when you turn, yeah, you're right. Okay, so we're just getting just, there's no pattern. We're just letting the colors run. Now, I'm rinsing my brush. What happened to my... Jimmy. Uh, no, my... Um, paper towel. Paper towel. Oh, it. here it is right here. Okay, now I'm going to take my red. And some of it I'm going to overlap. And some of it I'm not. And now I'm going to take my bottle, my spray bottle, and I'm going to spray it so it'll start running everywhere. Okay? And I can take my bottle and I can tilt it back and forth to let the colors mingle with each other. Watercolor dries two shades lighter. You need to remember that. Now, if it's not a quality watercolor, it may dry even lighter than that. Hey, Avadna. Thank you, Cheryl. Um, but watercolor dries two shades lighter. So what you see when you first put it on is not what you're going to get. Okay? Maybe All right, so let's do some blue. Show the gauze technique sometime. That you oh, yeah, I will. I will. That's a good idea, Deb. Um, okay, so now I've got some blue. Spray, 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 spray. Spray, spray. Remember, it's easier to add more than it is to take away. But you can take away if you need to. So I'm just tilting and turning, and I'm letting it just run, baby, run. I'm gonna turn it upside down. I'm gonna go back in and add a little more yellow. Again, there's no pattern. I'm not trying to make sure that, you know, oh, I've got a certain amount of yellow here and not here. What you want do wanna be careful of is that when you place your colors, you're not gonna get mud. And it's real easy to get mud because when you put a red and a yellow and a blue together, you get what's called neutrality. And you want neutrality in all paintings. You want that, but you don't want it to be muddy. And it's easy in something like this to get it muddy. So while it's still wet, what I can do, like if you look right there, that's muddy. What I can do is take a part of my paper towel and as Gail used to say, I will wipe the baby's bottom to get all that excess off. And right now I'm just gonna turn it a little bit, spray it a little bit, run, baby run. See how that's running down there? Let me get a piece of paper towel here. And right here, in these creases where it's kind of muddy, I'm just going to touch it with the edge of my paper towel. And that water just soaks right into the paper towel. So it'll take that mud away. As long as the paint is still wet, you can pretty much do anything to it. If I didn't like this at all, because I'm using transparent watercolors, I'm not using, um, what's the opposite? Opaque. opaque. I'm not using opaque, which are harder to get off. But anytime you use transparent watercolor, sorry, I want not even in camera, in you, um, you can take it back all the way to the white or almost to the white. I think it's interesting where the little creases of the paper where the wrinkles are on there, that's where the color likes to stick. Yes, it loves to stick there. And see how this doesn't have a whole lot of texture. Look at this color right here where the blue and the yellow mixed. 
and that's so pretty it made like a turquoise now I see some kind of muddish looking where was it that I want to get out some of that central groove there the very yeah middle. let me turn it and then we've got we're gonna dry it and if we dry it and we go you know what that's still gonna have enough color for me I think I'll add a little bit more it's okay go back and add more remember you're the artist you're in charge it doesn't matter if anybody else likes it or not all that matters is that you like it I'm gonna have to use this other yellow because I'm out of the yellow that I had and I don't like this yellow this is my favorite yellow to use in normal watercolors but it's making a lot of mud when it's mixing with the blue not like that so I think rather than use a lot more yellow I'm just gonna add a little more I want a little more color at the top and you know where red and blue cross they're gonna make purple and where red and yellow cross they're gonna make orange a little color theory going on here okay so I'm gonna spray again not a lot though because I, I want to keep a lot of this color up here so some of that ran off so let's get some more up here if you want darker areas then you spray less you can see that this is a whole lot darker but it's just running down there and y'all when it when it does this it's almost going to have a marbleized look which is kind of cool now this kind of painting and this kind of texture is not for everybody that's fine transparent what no 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 kenny i because i am a watercolorist i only use professional grade watercolors so i mostly use winsor and newton not Winsor and Newton Cotman, that's a student grade, or Daniel Smith. Those are my favorite ones. Um, they're really thick, high-density pigments. They, they have a lot of pigment in them. You can get as little or as much as you want. You can obviously water them down. But, um, you know, if I was just playing with something and, and I wasn't going to, you know, do it, a, you know, but I usually, um, when I was taking classes, I... Um, took at Plaza Art in Nashville, and so I would buy a lot of my products there. There's also a company called Cheap Joe's um, out of North Carolina online, and I would buy some stuff from Cheap Joe's. Um, there's Jerry's Artorama. There's lots of places. So, I think that I've just about got what I want on here so I can do my do my um transfers on here what At the bottom there's some brown you want to wick off of there this where tip it back so you can see it where right here yeah there's okay a, just a brown bubble hanging there okay i'm sitting lower than you so i can see yeah it. okay y'all so i think i think we're gonna leave that let me hold it up here so you can I'll turn it around it and around. It? Yeah, I'm going to dry it. Okay. Just wanted them to be able to see it. All right, so let's dry it a little bit. And like I said, after you dry it, if you look and you see, uh, kind of dull, I want it a lot brighter. Light, let me sh hold up the other one. See, this one has a lot brighter pigment in it. They were less watered down, and we did less watering as we went. Tammy wants to know where do you put your craft supplies and will you show us? Uh, you mean in in the um, motorhome? Motor home? Yeah, sure. As yeah, soon as we get through. The, underneath on the side bins, we have big bins of various things that we picked up. But inside, we have a uh, craft table. I'll show you the craft table sure. Rodney made me, and where I put you know stuff that I'm going to use on the regular things I pick up to make over like it. Um, Goodwill and places like that. Like he said, we've got some big bins under in these um, um, containers under the bus. And then in the bedroom, we've got a closet we hang clothes in. So um, I've got some um, two like cabinet closets that a lot of, hey Jill, that a lot of people would use. Hey Angela. And um, 
for clothing and we just don't. I use them for crafts. So, and then what I have to do is I have a couple of boxes and when we get ready to go like on a camping trip, then I take a, the boxes and I put all of my supplies that are up on the countertop or up by my desk down in the box or else they'll fall over. So we have to kind of clean off all surfaces before we bring the sides in of the um, camper, of the motorhome. And then when we get there, um, like all my decorations and stuff, I just set back up, so. Hello, Angela. Um, let me take y'all in and show you how this is drying a little bit. That, that way we can kill two birds with one stone. Hold on, I'm gonna take you off of this um, stand. Hope I don't make you sick. Now, it's not clean in there. It's not all cleaned up. Y'all wanna see the watercolors that people that didn't get to see, I'll show you real quick what the winner gets to choose from. That might work there, I don't know. This is one. Keep forgetting how to do my camera, y'all, because I've got it turned. Let me just hold it up. I'll get Rodney to hold them up. Okay, so there's one. I'll be Vanna. This one is watercolor and mixed media. It's got some oriental papers in it. It's completely turned again without me even asking it to. The wrong way. This is one from a, like a Greek home that has clothes hanging out. And then this is one, the winner can choose to keep it in the um, frame or I can take it out. It's watercolor painted on masa paper. All right, so here we go inside the bus. Ronnie calls it a bus. People say, why do you call it a bus? It's a motor we have to move I don't our, know. We just we have call to move it a our bus. picnic table right against the door. Get out All right, so here's the front. Let me turn this. Will you turn that light up, Ronnie? Um, the big light. Mm -hmm. So up. So, hey Stephanie Gilpin, I have this cabinet space up here that I have like transfers and papers in. Thank you so much, Tammy. And then um, you can see I've got some sitting out here that need to be filed. But here is my crafting area. So literally while Rodney's driving down the road, I'll be sitting back here crafting and sometimes doing it live. There's a video camera embedded in here. Yes, yeah, so I have it. a video okay. camera in there. Right. And then pretty soon we're gonna start doing like split screen. Right. So he took Another one up there. the table that was in here for a dining table out and made me this craft table. So see all this stuff I just take down and put in a box when we travel and then I just take it back out. So I have storage cabinets up here that have, sorry y'all, all kinds of stuff. And then I have this cart right here and this one that I store stuff in. Paints and ribbons and this has got all my totally dazzled and bling in it. Then this is just a little thing that we have set up. Um, we are having fun, Ivana. Rodney made this one. Uh, let me get back over there. Rodney did this. He made that one over. These are a couple things I made when I went to Dean and Kenny's retreat. Right here and right here. Another crafts. I, I made that at Dean and Kenny's retreat with Debbie Rigg, Lonsdale. So here is our regular closet in the bedroom that we use. So I have some watercolor stuff stored there. And then I'm, I hesitate to open this because stuff will probably come out. But look, y'all. <laughs> I have silver trays, I have canvases, I have balls of all kinds to make topiaries. Um, and then I have some down in that cabinet too. That box has got the craft project I'm gonna do with the camping ladies. So um, this is it. Um, some campgrounds have Wi-Fi, Angela. 
Some don't. I use my hot spot and we bring our Roku stick from home so we can watch TV. So here you go. That's it. Also made that at Dina's retreat. In fact, I think Dean, that was Dina's project that we did. So now you've seen it. Okay, let me turn it back around. Okay, y'all. I'm going to get Ronnie to hook this back up for me. What are you looking? It's looking at me the way it needs to be. Okay. I'll try not and to hit any buttons. You didn't really shut that door well behind you, but I, I can I'm take care of that. I'm sit down. I just wanted to get in first. All right. So now, I'm going to put my watercolor paints away, even though this is very good. Even though the colors are very muted, I like that because I'm actually going to be using rub-ons that um, transfers that are from the Dollar Tree, if I can find them, but I like them. So what I want to use are some of these little decorative pieces all around, that's right, Barbara, creative glamping around various places on here and then i'm gonna put the word the letters pepper down here and then on the opposite one which won't look exactly like this because the color scheme won't work exactly like this it'll be different so i've got my scissors right here is it dry yet um should i be drying it actually it's not totally dry hold please what else can we tell them while we're waiting on this to dry? Let's see. Somebody says, St Stephanie Nelson says, uh, oh, Nelson Gilpin, what a good life, big, big mobile, that's tremendous. I wish we could travel, but raising my grandson and he's in school. Soon, very soon. That's right. Soon, very soon. That's exactly right. Your time will come and you will just enjoy it. We surely do. Now, I'm not retired yet, but uh, we decided to start doing some traveling and camping That's early. Right. I've told y'all this story before, but one of our granddaughters said, what do you do when you go camping? I said, nothing. And she goes, oh, how boring. <laughs> and I said, at your age, I would have said the same thing. But to me, it's not boring. And I said, I craft, and, you know, we visit with our friends, and, I mean, I don't think Rodney and I have ever, well, maybe the weekend we bought the motorhomes, the only time we've ever, you know, traveled by ourselves, but, um, so the younger grandchildren came camping with us once, and I think they're going to come again um, this summer. The two older ones that are teenagers are just kind of, you know, they're not into it. All right, I'm gonna see if that's enough. I think maybe it is. So, I think the first thing I wanna do is to, I'm gonna cut out, let me hold this up here and see. Okay. Also, we, we don't only camp, or as far as camping, we do use the motor home, but as far as traveling, uh, Lisa does a lot of crafting while we travel. Right. Just in, if we're in a rental car or our own car, Lots of times we're traveling around the country and she's sitting over in the passenger side with a little lap tray just crafting away. In fact, if y'all saw my live the other day when we were coming back from Atlanta, I was crafting on the little board Rodney made me in the um, car, in my car, and when I made the posies. Okay, let's see if I can, I don't think I can refresh that. Okay, so now I cut this little one out. It's the best way to travel. We had a motorhome for years, but after husband passed, I saw that miss that way of life. It is neat. So you take the back off, and I'm going to put this, I'm going to put it right down here. Now, when you order stencils from like Essential Stencil and places like that, IOD, you get a little thing to rub it on there with, and I've got some in the motorhome. I didn't get them out. I'm just going to use the end of a large popsicle stick. And I'm going to rub, rub, rub. And 
it's harder to do on surfaces that are round. This one's trying to come off already, so let me put it back on and hold it down. And you can hear it as you're, as you're um, doing the transfer, you can hear it coming off of the paper. Let me do this part over here. I'm gonna lay it down for just a minute, you guys, so I can make sure I get this top part. Shelly Stacklin's watching. Hey, hey Shelly. Hey, sister. Okay. It didn't put 100% on, but it put a lot on. There's Denise. Hey, sweet sister. All right, so now let's see what we can put. I think I'm gonna take one of these long. I'll cut one of these long. <clears throat> things of leaves right here. Now you can finish these with <clears throat> a spray sealer, which is Ronnie sprayed this other one that we showed you earlier. He used a spray sealer. How many coats? Two coats? Mm -hmm. And in the right light you here. can see the sun. I mean you can see the shine. Or I might just try triple thick Duraclear mix. Okay? So, I'm going to put this right here. Actually, I'm going to put it off center a little bit from the other one. So, let me lay it down. Can y'all see? <clears throat> it's easier for me if I lay it down. And hold it tight, and I'm just rub, rub, rubbing. Denise says hello, Lisa. I saw her. I already said something. She was just on. I didn't get to watch because I was getting all set up for this. And I just broke this popsicle stick. And I don't guess it matters. And y'all, these from Dollar Tree, uh, it might help if I take the back off. I wonder why it was so white looking. <laughs> Me too. These from Dollar Tree transfer really easily. Like super easy. Thanks, Stephanie. Back and forth, back and forth. We should have told um, Tilly she could come over here. I saw her sitting out there a while ago on her phone. Yeah, she's she's talking, talking to Donna. 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 Yeah. Okay, let's peel this back. Not 100% got on there. I'm perfectly fine with that. I could even go back and touch up with a brush, a thin brush, and just add a leaf. All right, so let's do one like that <clears throat> on the other side. So there'll be some kind of symmetry. I'm not one that gets all bent out of shape if things aren't totally balanced. I know there are some people that are, including one of our daughters, maybe two of our daughters actually, but one of them, if you're playing cards with her and you have like um, uh, three cards, three threes, of, and you have two reds and a black and you lay them down two reds and a black, she'll go move them red, black, red. Drives her crazy. Doesn't bother me in the least. All right, so I've got one on the other side I'm laying down. Just rub, rub, rubbing. And it, you hear it kind of pop. When it pops like that, you know it has released from the backing. So that pop is a good sign. So now we have one here. We have one over here. We got two. All right, let's see if we can find something a little bit down here. I'm going to put pepper. So I need another clump of things, I mean salt, over here. So uh, I have multiples of these, which is a good thing. So let me do one of these over here. Hi. That's the campground post that just came by. They drive by every now and then. The sheriff department came through here earlier and they just make sure everybody's safe and comfortable and happy. Okay, 
So I cut, hey, Melissa. Cut this out, take the backing off. See how transparent it is? It's got just a little sticky on it. Let me see where that other one was. Okay. Denise wants to know if you did your drawing yet. I did. I surely did. Okay. Now you go down there before I let go. It's harder, y'all. I'm going to be honest with you about this. It, the flat surfaces are a whole lot easier to transfer on than round ones, especially when you're going around the rounded part and you're trying to hold it down flat. And on a textured surface. They're, yeah. They're saying working again. The textured surface on this really isn't mattering a lot because mine was so um, pushed down in there, I really don't have a lot of texture but um, it's just because it's round, but it did totally fine. Okay. Okay, so we've got two up here, we've got two down here. I know you're supposed to have three, but I'm thinking about trying to put this, these little pieces right here in some of the grooves. Let's try it and see if it works. It doesn't all have to do is just take it out. You could also write in the grooves, you could put jute if you wanted kind of a, a rustic look or a more masculine look. You could put, you know, bling wrap if you wanted to bling it up, but most people in their kitchen don't necessarily want that. Um, you talking about the drawing Veronica Lawmiller? Veronica, Veronica, I think it's probably pronounced Luff Miller, but I'm not sure. She's a new telegram follower. Okay, okay y'all, I'm putting it right here. Hopefully, she's going to follow our page. But the only requirement was that you be on my telegram. So, trying to build the telegram up because it just makes it so much easier to communicate with people. All right. So look, that was perfect. Perfect. And I have a lot of these, so I can make sure that I put them on, all, on, on both pieces when I do the other piece. Um, but I want to get the words on here, and then I need to figure out when I'm going to put it at the top. Okay, y'all see? I know it's kind of hard with this little bitty one. Let me say, well, congratulations to her because she's going to get a marvelous piece of work. Oh, you're so sweet, Denise. Thank you. And Maria says, is anybody else freezing? Oh, I hope not. Even mine I hadn't freezes frozen just here. for a few seconds. Mine hadn't frozen. Okay. So here we go. It's going to look so much better when we get the clear coat on. All right, let's do the letters. Salt. What would happen if you wanted more color and you already had those stencils on there? You could, I think you could go back and add more color. You would just have to be very uh, intentional about where you put the color. I don't, I don't know that the color going over the letter would be a big deal since it's watercolor. And since those are black or dark. Yeah, I, I just don't know. Okay, so I'm going to put the S right here. Louise says hers is freezing for a few seconds also. Mine's been doing that too. It may be because we're on my hot spot for internet, y'all. I mean, mine, mine has totally looked fine, but... I mean, maybe it's because, you know, that's my, I'm so sorry. That's one disadvantage Wish there was of something we could crafting do. when you're cruising or yeah. uh, when uh, camping or whatever. You don't necessarily have good cell right. service or internet. Everywhere. Even in yeah. hotels, sometimes it's hard. Well, what is happening? There we go. <laughs> it didn't want to come off. Okay, so there's the S. Now, these letters... 
not all of them are um, the same size, which I kind of like. I think that just gives it an extra little interest. And I'm going to leave this little heart right here by this A. And the little, it's got some little marks on it. I'm going to leave those. I think those are kind of cute. I'm going to try to line it up. Okay. And when you got fat fingers like I do, it's they kind of get in the way sometimes too, y'all. Oh, that's cute. Look. The, the extra part of the A came off the other part of the, the little part right here. I'll just paint that in. No big deal. And it's always a good idea to go back over with either a baggie or a piece of plastic or something to rub it down once you um, get it on there before you put your clear coat on just to make sure it's sticking well. And there's a little tilde here by the L, so I'm gonna leave that in there. Just because I can and just because it looks unique. I bet when you're done, nobody else is gonna have a salt shaker quite like yours. You know, I bet you're right. So this L is little. That doesn't bother me, I think it's cute. I like it that things are different sizes, different textures. But that's kind of who I am. Even when I was a watercolor painting, I did, um, or with my teacher, I shouldn't say when I was, because I think I'm gonna try to do some more, but um, I loved texture. Uh-oh, I did not get that part of the L down there, so let me see if I can get it on better in this little top part. Got the top part on. Can I get the bottom on? Okay, let's see. These little black ants are getting on my nerves. Yep, I got it. So S A L. And then let's see what the T is. The T's kind of, it's bigger, but not as big as some of them. I'm gonna leave that little star right there by it. The little L will help give you a place for the top of the T to go. Yeah. So tonight we're going out for barbecue with the group. And then tomorrow more, I think they've changed, the, usually the men cook breakfast on Saturday morning. And, um, but it's supposed to rain here maybe Saturday morning. Oops. So they may end up cooking breakfast for us in the morning. And then tomorrow night we're having, what are we having tomorrow night? Um, I think we're having a barbecue dinner tomorrow night. So at the barbecue place, they said there were other things you could get if you didn't want barbecue twice in a row. Um, all right, y'all. So look. Whoops, I'm turning it the wrong way again. Okay, so now I think I'm gonna put salt on the other side too. Hey! Hold on just a minute. Huh? This is our host. Let me see what I can put around here. See y'all soon. Um, I think I'm going to put another, I don't think I'm, I'm going to put salt on the other side of this one too. I think I'm going to put some of these leaves around the top. What did they want? Make sure we had directions. Oh. Too bad you have a really big S just to put on there. Just, like some of them just have an S for salt. And, or maybe you should put salt in a different language. Hello, 305 Accessories. How are you? Really? Tell us your name, please. I'm sure you've told me before, but my memory's not too great. 
glad you're here. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold this, try to hold this so y'all can see. I'm gonna put this right here. And I'm gonna have to do it in stages, you guys, because Um, so curvy. It is curvy, and this is kind of a long. Cut this kind of long. So maybe I can do it. You can do it. That's what they say. I didn't get that latest message that you got. Three oh five accessory. Yeah, I didn't see one to Did in. you refresh? Oh yeah, it keeps slowing you down, but. Okay, let's see y'all. I think that pretty well got it. I did that and came and back. See, that's just even... a little bit of something up there at the top so it's not so plain. And see, like that little part of the leaf came off. That doesn't bother me. To me, this just makes it look more, I guess, antique-ish. I don't know. Okay, let's put this one on the other side. Then I'm going to try to get the word salt on here and see if we can put the DuraClear triple thick on before we have to leave. Just a few minutes. Can you bring out my triple thick DuraClear mixture, please? In the squirt bottle? Uh, in one of those clear bottles, yeah. Okay, y'all, here we go. Oh, I forgot. It's going to be hard to get in the door. Do it. We had to move the um, picnic table down, y'all, because where I was earlier, it's real sunny now, so he said the sun's going to be right on you, so we had to move it. But we had to move it in front of the door, so it's kind of hard to get in and out. You know, that's part of camping. You just kind of roll with the punches, figure out how you're going to handle things. Not a big deal. I think that's why I love camping so much, because everything's just so relaxed. Nobody gets bent out of shape about anything. This is not doing quite as well as I wanted it to, but maybe if I keep pushing. There you go. See, it just gives it a little, it just zhuzhes it up some. I could even go back with acrylic paint if I wanted to, and I might do this, or with like a liquid gold, and not a li I wouldn't use liquid gold, but maybe you the have a um, brush for it. yeah, maybe the would you bend uh, whatever their paints are, make the gold to go in here. I could do that. All right, let's put salt. The word salt on the other side. Let me go on and just cut the letters out. Because even if I put a top coat on it, I can still go back and paint and put another top coat on it. I think it's odd how messages don't come through. Earlier there was a message there and I refreshed it and it came back and that message is gone. Hmm. And it, so there's two of them at least that you've mentioned that I haven't showed up on, but they're no longer on mine. You can come on over. You know, are you not going to ride with us? Well, it's, yeah, this, we're probably going to leave in about 10 minutes. Okay. Okay, S, A, and then I need an L. Sorry, y'all didn't mean to scream in your ear. S-A-L-T. Okay. So, S goes first. Almost turned it upside down. Not that it would really matter, but almost did it upside down. Okay, I didn't see 305 Accessories tell us her name. Looking to see. Can I help you with something? No, we'll see. Okay, that little part of the S didn't get anything on. Oh, I don't know what's going on, but I 
I'm not getting the same message okay. as you are. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I haven't got anything since 305 accessories. Oh, man, y'all, I got it too close. Is that what you're talking about, Rodney? That's right. Well, why didn't you tell me? I wasn't sure what you, how you were going to crowd them in there, but... Y'all, he sat right there and let me do that, and I said, what is it? And he didn't tell me. That wasn't nice. What you had in mind. Well, clearly, but um, if you told me it was too close, I would have looked. Can't trust him. Maria said she loved the natural life photos you shared. Oh, I know, Maria. It's so cool around here. I, you know, my mother used to watch the birds all the time, y'all. And I almost feel like an old lady that I've gotten so, like, into nature. I mean, I, I love it. It's God, you know. So, um, let me try to cover this up. Ooh, I almost dropped that in the top. It's my own. With some white, and then I may have to go back nope, over it right. with some. That'll teach my husband not to say anything on it. Um, okay, I'll let you put the top on this. Hey, Pam Stapleton and Marilyn Baxter, how are you all? Thank you for being here. We are almost through with our salt shaker that we are doing over with um, tissue paper that was wrinkled up after I painted it with two coats of white chalk paint. And then um, we used watercolor paper to um, give it some color. Or watercolor paint. Watercolor paint, I meant to give it some color. Okay. Let's try this S again. And now we're um, putting transfer letters on and, and um, some little decorations that I got in these transfers from the Dollar Tree. I don't have the appropriate transfer tool out here with me. I should have gotten it out before I came out, but I didn't, so I'm using this popsicle stick and um, we're putting salt the word salt on here I missed some of that little S so I need to put that back down see if I can get it transferred on there we go okay next is the A And it's going to come over on some of this white that I just put back down here. So maybe it won't be a big deal. The next time it's going to be a big deal if my husband lets me make a mistake and doesn't tell me. Y'all fuss at him. I need everybody correcting him. Bad boy running. Last thing I saw was Pam Stapleton is watching. Do you have that? Nope. Not. You may have to go out and come back in totally. I have totally. done that, but I might as well try again. Okay. Maybe you're just not on, you can't get a good connection. Okay. Okay. Right, let's just see what's coming on here now. Let me do this little part of the A. Can y'all see? No. Well, but mine goes back to I love the natural life photos you shared. It's just hmm. nice. Uh oh. You know why that happened? Because I forgot I had put the paint down there and I didn't dry the paint. Let me see if I can rub over it and make it sticky anyway. If not, I'll touch it up with paint later. There we go. All right, L. Is it dry where the L's going? Yeah, pretty much. 
And as I said, these letters are all different sizes. I don't even care. Now the top coat that I was talking about is a mixture and I don't remember the amounts. I don't think it's 50-50, but it's triple thick and DuraClear. You can use either one by themselves. Why do I use the combination? Because Kathy D. Domenico used the common the trip the mixture, and so I wanted to do what she did. That's the only thing I can tell you. But there have been times that I've only used one of them, and I think it's totally fine. So I wouldn't wouldn't worry about it if you don't have it. I just mix it. Where's my in a container like this? Oh, I've got it on here. Three parts triple thick, one part Dura Clear. There you go. Now you got the formula. It's not super shiny when you mix it like that. If you want it to be shinier, I would just use the DuraClear by itself. You can also use something like this, which is what we used on the, the sample one. 2X Ultra Cover Gloss Clear from Rust-Oleum. Um, so I'm going to use the uh, Triple Thick DuraClear mix on this one to see how it does. And then we will be through. Now I'm not going to post pictures until I've got the companion to it done. And I make sure that I've got everything on here the way I want it. Because you know, sometimes more is more. So I might have to add some more, okay? So, this is salt, this is salt, and we've got some decor all the way around it. And if I put a clear coat on, and then I go back and add the, um, add some more stuff to it, it won't matter. It might even come off better. All right, so I'm gonna shake it up real well. Put some on my plate. You can start picking some stuff up if you want to. I'm moving it to this out of the way so we, we can go. Okay, just taking a soft brush. And we'll start up here. And see, you'll, you'll notice, as soon as I show you up close, you'll notice that when you put the top coat on, it's really bringing the colors out nicely. They don't look so muted. Look. See how you can see more of the color? Look at the yellow. See how it glows through there? That's what um, I love so much about watercolor is that using transparent watercolors especially, and I'm not, I don't want y'all to think I'm saying you have to use transparent watercolors at all times, you don't. But if you wanna get that glow that where the yellow will shine through and the, the, the pink will shine through the yellow, then using transparent watercolors is what you want. And most of the time when I am doing watercolor, I use transparent. When I was in Ghost Ranch, New Mexico painting, um, a lot of times I did not use just transparent because the mesas out there are so beautiful and they have so many colors that change in the afternoon like when the sun sets over them just gorgeous hey chrissy schneider thank you maria that's okay chrissy you never late sister you're here um so i did use some opaque colors out there but when you make a mistake if you've used opaque colors it's really really hard to get it back to the white of the paper so that you can redo it. Transparent watercolors, you can always get it back to either totally white or very close to totally white. Um, you can just clean it with the sponge. You know what else you can use on watercolor paper? This may shock you. Those Mr. Clean sponges, you can use them on watercolor paper to take color out of your paper. 
It's amazing. Maria wants to know if you lived in Ghost in Ghost Town, I, which means Ghost Ranch. Ghost Ranch, no, I didn't. I just went out there and painted. That's where the famous watercolorist Georgia O'Keeffe, she lived in Abiquiu, which is right up from Ghost Ranch, but she spent a lot of time on Ghost Ranch painting. And there was a mountain, when she looked out her window, she saw this mountain and she said that God told her if she painted that mountain enough, he would give it to her. So her ashes are spread over that mountain. Okay, so here we go. See how the colors came out? Didn't look so dull anymore. It says salt all around it. We use tissue paper. We use chalk paint, we use watercolor paint, we use triple thick Duraclear, we use transfers. So the next one that I make won't look exactly like this, obviously. You, I could never replicate it if I wanted to. Look right here, I'm gonna show you this part right here and we'll hold it up closer. Look, how those colors kind of mixed and came together. I love that, I know it's kind of blurry love it okay all right you guys one more time for the light huh show that one more time for the light was a sample but oh this was the sample where we practiced with um putting the tissue paper on in the watercolors and then we wanted to practice with transfers and you can see try not to touch this too much if i move it over it's low back I move them over. They're different sizes, obviously, but you can see one is much brighter because we use less water and we sprayed it less. And then this one is more muted. Also, the tissue paper was pushed in more, so it has less um, wrinkles showing than this one. Awesome story. I've always wanted to learn to paint watercolors. Well, Chrissy, you come you back because right I'm going to be doing a lot more watercolor. I don't want to just do watercolor right now because I feel like that for a lot of people, um, that would be boring. Plus, there's just so much watercolor painting that you can do like in one sitting. So in one evening, you know, for an hour, hour and a half, maybe a maximum of two hours, um, most of the time, I would not be able to get a whole watercolor complete. I'm just not that fast. Um, and I'm very intentional about what I do. So, and then I make mistakes and I have to go back, you know, make, clean up my mistakes and all that kind of stuff. So, probably most of the watercolor sessions would have to be more than one session. Maybe, it, I'd say at least two. You know, as long as we weren't getting in anything, <clears throat> anything that was very, um, had a lot of, you know, detail in it and stuff. And it probably would be good for me because I would learn to be um, looser, which my watercolor teacher's been saying for years. You need to loosen up, even though it's hard for her to loosen up. So, um, uh, anyway, but I, I have thought about possibly in the future if there were enough people interested in learning watercolor, of doing like a private group for watercolor, um, that, you know, it would be a paid group that um, people could come to and actually we could do it, you know, just like we're doing it here. So I would still be teaching you, um, but it would be, you know, like on a, on a live. Um, and then, you know, just, just see how that went. But I, I think to do regular, watercolor that would probably have to be the way we would do it <clears throat> so if that's something that any of you think you might be interested in um i hope you will you know send me a message and let me know so that i can kind of keep that on the back burner i'm not ready for it yet so um you know it wouldn't be right now but certainly in the future i would be willing to consider it Does somebody have a ring i would be willing to consider it if there was you know interest um, but again that would be a private group kind of thing so that other people wouldn't be bored with it that weren't interested in learning about it so um, <clears throat> thank you all for signing up for telegram 
um, congratulations to the winner. I'll do it again at some point in time and either give away another um, watercolor or give away a craft or something like that. So um, I hope that you'll hit the follow button if you haven't already. And definitely if you haven't joined my Telegram, it is pinned at the top of my page. It's like a blue arrow with white in it and it says Telegram. And most people have not had problems just clicking on that, which takes you, it, it downloads the free app. You have to have the Telegram app. And then if you do, then you can go find Crafting and Cruising and click join my channel and it'll put you on there. Today, I tried to, to um, also pin at the very top a direct link. I, I haven't tried it yet, so it may still be just a, a repeat of what I've already done, but um, I was trying to help people who were having trouble getting on. Seems like some people had trouble and some people didn't. So um, hopefully everybody got on that was able to. Uh, but again, um, we can't do giveaways and things on FB. That's against the rules. Um, and they frown on it, but we can do it on Telegram. And so, um, hi. If you're a member of our Telegram group, then we can do like we did today and um, and do the giveaway. So, um, and if you're if you are not a follower, I hope you'll become a follower and just um, be sure to turn your notifications on. And again, for those of you who've been following, I would encourage you to go back and check that too because there's been a lot of glitches going on where people will say I was following such and such, and then all of a sudden I wasn't, and I had to go refollow. And um, nobody knows why that happens. It, it just is a glitch that happens pretty frequently. And, um, and so make sure that you constantly are checking your settings on everybody you're following to make sure that you're still following. Um, and if you notice you're not getting notifications that somebody's on very much, yes. sometimes it's because you're no longer following. Yes, that's exactly right. So, um, anyway, I love you guys. I'm so grateful for you, and I've had a blast with you today. Um, I will be back on Tuesday. I'm traveling with Rodney. Rodney, I will be in um, Charleston, South Carolina. No, you're going to Charleston Monday. I'll be in Oklahoma City on Tuesday night and part of Wednesday. So I'm hoping I get to see Mary White, Chris Hunter, um, and then um, at some point in the not too distant future, he's gonna be going to Jacksonville, Florida, and I'm gonna go oh. spend some time, excuse him, I'm gonna go spend some time with um, Sweet Jennifer from Home Sweet Create, so I can't wait. Love you guys, I hope you have been blessed or will be blessed, and I hope you will do something to bless someone else. Just a simple smile, how are you doing? Um, letting them break in front of you in the grocery line, um, in, in a fast food line, telling the person when you're checking out you want to pay for the person behind you's food, sending a handwritten letter, y'all, those mean so much and we've gotten kind of away from that. So sending a handwritten note, if you can't do that, then send a text or an email and just say, I'm thinking about you, I love you, and um, I hope you have a great day. Things like that go a long way with people and right now we need a lot more of that in our world. So. I love you guys. I'll see you later. Bye.